This week, Rog and myself have three hours in Valamor. We filmed this as soon as it came out and so hardly know anything, and we have almost no wiki help as it hasn't been updated. We can use any items in our bank to allow us to do any content we stumble upon, then we fight. <laughs> Jeez, geez, Valamore is out and I cannot wait to get into this PvP challenge. Um, as you can see, I'm starting in one of the dungeons. So what me and Kins have done is we've done all the quests that came out. So four quests came out with Valamore. So we've done all of those. So we've got a bit of a base knowledge. And I'll just show you a clip quickly of me doing the quest. As you can see, I actually pulled a unique from this dungeon which was like these two blade things, and they have like 121 slash and crush, I think. So part of me wants to keep giving it a go and see if I can actually pull an item in the actual timer, because I'm so fuming that I pulled that while doing the quest and not in the actual PvP. So yeah, I'm going to do these bosses. It's like three demi-bosses. So let's do this. Oh, during the quest, this was like multi oh it is there is a guy here as well okay just during the quest there was like loads and loads of people but apparently uh apparently not anymore so with this like ball thing we have to stay behind it so we just similar to like the inferno i guess and then you step on these like light beams and that means you won't take damage and you can do damage to the boss and then this one where it pulls you into the middle uh, you just have to face the way that the thing pops up, the boss pops up, and then you do damage to it. There we go. And that is me done. So I've just got to do two more bosses of that. So that was the Eclipse Moon I've done. Now I've got to do the Blood Moon and the Blue Moon. All right, guys, welcome to three hours in Varlamore. Currently, a lot of the stuff on the wiki isn't even filled out yet. I don't know most of what I'm doing. I just finished the four quests, and then we're being thrown right into this PvP challenge. I am going to start with the demi bosses, the three. You kill all three of them, you open up the chest. I don't know the loot that I could get, but I feel like it's a nice, you know, safe approach where even if I don't get good items, hopefully at the very least I get alkables, because I do see there are a lot of shops around in this big new city area or landmass, whatever you want to call it. So let's start the timer. And let's open some chests. So these bosses are weird in the sense where you kill it with multiple people, but the damage is just yours. So I could see a bunch of people. We go through the same stuff, but I have my own health bar. These are definitely designed for some pretty low PVMing because um, this one's already dead in less than two minutes. Uh, but we got to kill three more before we loot the chest. So it kicks us out of here. Nice. Then we got to kill the blue and the blood. So I forgot to mention, I do have three weapons. I am using the rapier against the one that's weak to stab, which is the moon one. This guy is weak to crush. And the other one, the blood guy, is weak to slash. And I'm using the rapier for stab, of course. And then the axe, which I still have it on. It just disappeared for this phase because we got to, like, kick this ice. So just like Barrows, you got to get all the KC. Then we loot the chest. Sun-kissed bones. See, I gotta be honest with you guys. I don't know what any of this shit is. I know these are like dirt cheap. And in this one, we have to dodge the ice and then you have to get your weapon out. So it steals your weapon out off you and you have to like smash the ice to get it out. And it's the one that's glowing is the one that you have to get it from. And then a very similar mechanic to the one before. All three of the bosses have this mechanic where you stand on the light and uh, attack the boss. And then we have the blood moon. And then it does this like blood rain stuff where you have to just not be stood on a tile that has the blood. And then you've got this one where, again, you have to kill a jaguar, which is where the light circle is. You have to go to that one, so everyone gets a different jaguar that they have to go to. And boom, that is all three done. Come on, give me something. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we got some darts. We got some soft clay and some irits. All right, let's open this puppy up. Let's see what we get. Come on, rare item. Ooh, ooh, Swamp Tar. I was actually thinking how I can get that because of those new Salamander guys. That's, I mean, that's enough for the fight if I can get Eerits. I was going to say, if that was Eerits, that would have been fucking pretty sick. Pretty sick. We go, we go again. Eerit me up. Is it just Harrowlanders? The last fleet was Harrowlanders as well. Could I do anything with that soft clay, bones? Uh, yeah, I mean, cool, cool, cool. It's so weird 
having no idea what the drop table is of anything. More swamp tar. All right, let's peek in here real quick. And that might be the worst one yet. I'm about to open another chest, but I keep running past these guys. And I just want to see what they drop. So I'm just giving one a quick kill um, just to see. Because you never know. Maybe they drop some armor or something and I can use that for the fight. Boom. Oh, what is that? He just threw a five at me. I don't know what that five was. What's the game saying? I don't know what that five was. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's go open our second chest, or third technically, because the quest, you do get one unlock as well. Here we go. Uh, they like the soft clay and maple seeds, don't they? There's some Harolanders and some blessed bone shards. I have no idea what they are. All right, we've got another chest to open up. And uh, we get some sun-kissed bones. I mean, they're just... They're definitely the same model as, like, wyvern bones or something. Not wyvern. Something... Something... You guys know what I'm... Drakes, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I'm getting a load of these darts, but nothing else. All right, we got another chest to open. For whatever reason, they've decided that everyone has to share the same animation. So if someone else is opening, you can't. Nothing there again. Oh, man. I'm so annoyed I got it on the first chest and that doesn't count towards the PvP. I really want to get an item. Alright, it's another chest. Give me an item. <sighs> Bro, I really want an item. I'm going to do at least one more because we still got nine minutes of the hour. So we're going to do one more at least and then I'll see how I feel. I do need to start thinking about actually getting gear and stuff for the PvP. I'm actually going to kill a few of these wormlings right here just to see what they drop. I really want to get irates again. I don't know if that lunar chest actually drops them or not. I'm just going to kill a few because they're pretty low level. So I'll spend like three, four minutes here. Maybe they'll drop an armor piece or something. I have no idea. It looks like that lunar chest isn't even good for money. I was hoping to get some form of alkables, um, but it doesn't really seem to benefit me too much with everything I've gotten. Moonlight cockatrices? Oh, should we kill a few of those? And are these guys even dropping anything? I don't think they're actually dropping anything. We'll try to kill like two of those and see if there's any difference. Yeah, those other guys just dropped nothing. <gasps> oh, we got it. 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 That's 13 of them. Uh, I think I'm going to be done here Then, in, in, in all honesty. So put that in the bank and let's skadoodle, man. Because we are going to get the salamander and they're going to make some armor. I don't know how to make it. Uh, the wiki doesn't even show how to make it. It's like multi-skin armor or something. It actually sounds pretty gross. Multi-hide, maybe. That sounds a little less disgusting. Although hide is skin. So we're allowed tools from the bank and stuff. So if we clean these, I think we need a pestle and mortar. Now I'll use that on there. Irit tar. That's some pretty wild stuff. That's a lot of ammunition, guys. So it took a while to find an empty world where I could just find one empty net trap. And here we go. How much XP? 344. That's got to be pretty good at XP. Uh, immature. Wait, do you not just get it? Oh, no. I'm gonna have to Google this. That's the problem with this PvP challenge. Let's just catch another one while we're waiting. Uh, crap. Teku Salamander. So how do I get this one? It has, like, a certain rarity to it. I mean, I'm just gonna have to find an empty world. Crap. I'm gonna ask this guy to see if he got one because it's gonna be such a waste of time if it's, like, one in a thousand. I only have two hours. So it might just be work, worth asking this guy because the wiki doesn't say. I've only gotten one in 500? Oh, jeez. TY, TY. I mean, I could catch 500 in, in two hours. It's a pretty good weapon. It's a pretty good weapon, and I already have all the tar. Oh, that's tricky. I don't know. It uses all combat styles as well, and it could really throw Link off no matter what combat style he goes which is amazing in itself. We're going to get more small fishing nets and rope, and we're going to try to find empty world, and we're going to at least attempt it. Um, one in 500. I mean, who knows if you got lucky or unlucky, though. A massive thank you to Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. Remember getting up early as a kid, pouring a bowl of cereal, and playing a load of RuneScape. It's time to do that again, but this time with Magic Spoon, because you'll be getting a high-protein, zero-sugar cereal that tastes amazing. My favorite flavor is the fruity variety, but there are loads to choose from. So in the fruity variety, we have 13 grams of protein with four net carbs and zero sugars. Each and every single one of Magic Spoon has zero sugar in it. Um, it doesn't matter what flavor you pick. 
And because it's so high in protein, it actually fills you up a lot more than a normal bowl of cereal would. So we're going to do a cheeky live taste test and uh, yeah, just talk about how good it tastes. What's crazy about it is you wouldn't know that there was no sugar in it. If you went around someone's house or something and they gave this to you, you'd have absolutely no idea there was no sugar in it. Sort of want to just finish the bowl and then finish the advert. So if you want to try some for yourself, go to magicspoon.com slash links or click the link in the description. You can also scan the QR code and that will get you $5 off your first order. They also have a 100% money back guarantee if you don't enjoy the cereal. So you've got literally nothing to lose. All right, it's so another chest. Come on. Oh, man, how rare is this stuff? See, I don't know. I don't know if I just got stupid lucky on the first chest and now I'm just going to go mad dry and I'm just wasting my time here because none of this is usable. None of this is going to be helpful in the fight at all. All right, this is going to be my last chest for now. I'm going to go do some exploring around Valamore uh, after this and maybe at the end I'll come and do some more chests. Uh, we don't get anything. Oh, man. Got a load of darts that time though. Uh, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to venture out. I'm going to see what I can work out because... Uh, can you eat these anywhere? Because they heal like 30. Surely not. Surely you can't. That would be insane. I'm going to try and walk out of the dungeon with these. Because they'll be best in food slot. Like, best in slot food even. If if I can take these out. They genuinely heal like... Okay, we're, we're 60 HP right now. 28? They heal 20? Surely not. Surely this is not going to work. Yeah, okay, they get taken off me. Ah, oh, that's sad. That's so sad. Okay, right, I'm going to start having a little look around. Like, we've got a sword shop right here. Like, these are the sort of things I need to be checking out. Uh, trade. Ooh. Addy SQ. we got an Addy sword. All right, all right, all right. Um, is there anything else to, like, trade with? Squeeze through? No. Uh, okay, all right. So I'm going to have a little look around, see what we can get. I've got to make some money. I know there's some knights. They're pretty much knights of Ardoin. Um, so I might get some money off of them now. We do have our whole bank at our disposal. So I'm just going to use the tellies. I think this is the telly. Oh, no, we need earth runes. Okay. Uh, this will take us to the capital city part. And I should be able to start making some money here. Wealthy citizens. What do they? How much do they drop? 85 each while I was doing the quest. I don't know if it was a glitch or not guys if someone could uh, let me know in the comments That'd be great But I seem to pickpocket one of these and then it just auto pickpocketed for like 10 15 pickpockets I I'm gonna see if I can get it to happen again. So you guys can actually see it, you know um, In the league that thing that was like, oh, what's this a house key? I'll, I'll work that out in a second. You know the 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 perk that was like you automatically pickpocket. That's what it was doing. It was just auto pickpocketing. It's doing it. It's doing it. Look, I'm not I'm not clicking anything. And it just auto pickpockets. Your hands are sweating. You keep dropping items in the citizens' pockets. What? So confused. Is it because he was talking to him? That might be why. On the map, there's like a thieving thing here. It wouldn't be wise to do that with the owner of the house nearby. There's a, there's a, there's a locked door here. Is this going to be it? Oh. Oh, your key opens the door, sneak into the house. The key gets stuck. In the, okay. Does this mean I can now take shit? Oh, please give me good stuff. What is this? Valuables? I don't know what these things do. What, what the valuables do. Oh, this is why I love and hate when we get new content like this. Because I'm so confused. Uh, I feel like I feel like I just want to dip and actually find out what these things do. Because I feel like if he walks back in his house, then I might lose all of this. Who do I sell it to? What, what do I do with it? All right, I'm just I'm gonna get twenty. I'm gonna get twenty and then I'm dipping. Oh, whistle, whistle, get out of there. Fuck. Oh no, he took he took my valuables off me. But who do I give these to? That's the question. Ooh, okay, we can hand these valuables in. So two of these. Oh, it just gives coin oh, I thought I was gonna get like you know amulets or something like that. 
I do have three of these keys, so I'm just going to use them anyway, and I'll be a, bit, a little bit more prepared this time that I actually have to leave before Blokey comes back and catches me. Can I just leave, though? Like, there was like a... There was like an arrow saying I should go over here. Oh, there's a window to exit out of. Oh, shit, you can get, like, amulets. All right, that took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to to do three keys, but we have 331 valuables, and we can break this down. You need a chisel to do that? Okay, all right. Uh, I think there's a crafting store somewhere. Um, where's our dodgy bloke that's going to give me money for this? So if we trade in 331, we got 7.5k right now. <laughs> 25k okay very nice that is a really solid cash stack i should see how much those darts that i got alk for because that could be a lot of money as well see do these alk for anything high alk value 325k excuse me okay well i just wasted a load of time doing you know <laughs> thieving when i didn't need to I don't need a thousand of these. Oh my god. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to have as much money as I fucking need. That's insane. I guess doing the boss for an hour and a half or hour and whatever we did it for was worth it. Means I can actually, you know, afford things. Uh, I might go back and buy some of that Addy stuff then. What have we got here? Mace shop. Let's have a look at the mace shop. Trade. Oh, got a room mason here. 18k. Fuck it. Uh, I'm not going to buy it now, but I'll mark it as, like, remember that there's a room mace there. I'm going to have a little look around, because I haven't had a proper look around. I just sped through the quest as quickly as I could. So I actually want to see what's going on. There's sweet corn? Bro! Tuna potatoes are always so hard to make, because you can't get sweet corn anywhere. Can we just pick this? Oh my god, we can make tuna potatoes. We can make tuna potatoes. That's 22 heal. That's huge. That is massive. There's got to be potatoes as well, doesn't there? Onion. There has to be. There has to be. I think that might be my priority if I can do that. I definitely saw some, like, buffaloes you can milk. Wheat. Come on. There's more sweet corn. Oh my god, this is incredible. I'm sure I'll be able to get tuna somewhere. Onion. No, is there not going to be potatoes? Cabbages. There's fucking everything. <laughs> Come on. Okay. All right. Is there a bank near here? That's the sweet corn. That's the potatoes. I mean, the closest bank is there. Okay. All right. All right. We found an empty world. It looks like this guy, Game of Olms, was just heading out. Said Pog Off King. Thank you, sir. Um, we're going to try to go for gold tier, guys. It turns out that even if I get the correct salamander, I have to take it to the guilds, the hunter's guild, and train it somehow. And I have no idea what that entails. Uh, we can actually set up this fifth trap over here. I probably should have brought stamina pots as well. Kind of annoying, but I'm terrified I'm just going to get crashed. It is not the easiest thing to find an empty world. All right, guys, we have about an hour and 10 minutes left, and I'm getting very nervous. Not knowing how rare this is is kind of messing with my mind, because if this is like 1 in 1K, I probably would never have attempted this. Um, but, you know, it's a new update, and I, I kind of do like the thrill and the pain of not knowing. I know that sounds sadistic, but I like new updates like this, where, like, no one really knows. The wiki has no idea. That guy thinks it's about 1 in 500. And I just took his word for it. If it's like 1 in 1k, I mean, we were kind of fucked from the beginning. But it's just such a good weapon compared to the other shit that we could get in terms of what's possible without getting lucky in this episode. But this might be getting lucky. I don't know. I have no idea. But anyways, guys, uh, the point of this clip is at around the 45 minute left mark. So in about 25-ish minutes from now, I'm probably going to have to move on. Of course, if I stay that extra 45 minutes, I have a higher chance of getting it. But... If I stay the whole hour and 10 and don't get it, I am fucked. I have no food. I have no armor. So it looks like there is a fishing spot south. Uh, based on the slim research that I've done, it looks like there is sharks there. Uh, there's a fishing shop. I couldn't find anything on that just yet. So maybe they sell stuff. I mean, I don't have any money anyways. Uh, I guess I could pickpocket and whatnot. There's armor shops scattered throughout. So I... Uh, let's not worry about that um let's just worry about hopefully getting this fucking salamander
All right, guys, we're going to head into the main city here. I don't know if there's an eagle I could have snagged. That one is not built yet, I'll be honest. Um, we're just going to thieve for money and then buy stuff. There are shops littered everywhere around Varlamore. And right now, with 45 minutes left, we, cannot, we, we can't hold out for this element. If it doesn't happen, I'm completely fucked. So... We're going to get some armor, a weapon, we're going to fish, and then if I have like 10 minutes left, we're going to spend that time on the salamanders and just pray we then get it. I don't know how long all this is going to take. Let's make sure we snag lots of stamps from the bank because that is slowing me down massively right now. But I couldn't leave my spot because it is not easy to find a world. I kept getting crashed throughout that entire time. Honestly, just not fun. That was not fun whatsoever. All right, we're going to pickpocket these wealthy citizens. Now, when I was first doing this quest... Oh, hey, 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 that is Septum from my CC. Um, I believe you can just auto pickpocket them. And that's kind of the issue here. And we just got a house key. I've heard about those house keys. I think, uh, I, I think you take them to one of these locations here and you can loot a chest for money. I mean, we'll see how much we get with that. Um, I don't know how to lure the children over here. That just sounded really fucking bad. Uh, <laughs> but okay, like this. Like this. Now, if I click on it, Leo over here is distracting this wealthy citizen. It auto pickpockets. I don't think you can fail. My hand is off the mouse right now. I'm not clicking on him. So I'm running around. I'm going to buy a few things here like this, this, and this. Um, I also grabbed the uh, rogue set. I totally forgot about that. I get the double pickpocketing loot. I'm trying to look how to use these keys. I think, I think you can only do it in one place at a time. One where the owner isn't home, and I'm assuming that's right there where everybody currently is. Boom. Okay, then I just come in here. Do I search the chests? Uh, I'm assuming... Or maybe it doesn't matter. Now, could you do anything with these? Let's, uh, let's pop the wiki. Thieven Grant's valuables. They may be exchanged for 55 gold to Oriana outside of Varlamore Bank. Uh... This may be faster money. I don't know if I'm getting double, though. Ah, you hear somebody outside. Scatter! Let's get out of here! Oh, you can get jewelry, actually, from doing this. That's actually really good, because that's good alcohols. There's actually a shop that buys that. Or I could potentially use it. I mean, that one's quite pointless. If it was, like, a ruby amulet. Uh, it looks like we gotta possibly bail. I wonder what happens... If they scatter, if they actually get you. Oh, what is this? Need a chisel? Okay, I mean, we can easily grab one. We also got this, which could potentially be a defense amulet. And it looks like that could be broken down into bone shards. Kind of useless for what I'm doing. Okay, so we have 25 minutes, nearly 26 minutes left on the clock. I'm going to cash these in. I think I have enough money to get all the basic armor I need. Maybe with the exception of an Addy Plate body, because that's going to be like 16k itself. I'm not sure if that was faster or not, but it's, it's, it's also cool to just explore the content. Use this on her or... Come on. Yes, I want to sell all of them. 27k. Let's do the rounds. Let's buy everything, because we need time to fish. Tuna, tuna, tuna. Uh, okay. I need to, I need to work out when I want to do that. I sort of want to do it now. Sort of want to do it now. Just get it out of the way. And then I have food for the fight. Like 100% have food for the fight. I need to keep alking these bad boys. All right. So I'm going to need to churn butter first because you need to make a potato and butter. So I'm going to do the butter now. That's what's going to take forever. Oh, it takes so long. Ugh, part of me doesn't want to do this. Part of me thinks maybe this is a bad idea. I don't know. I forgot the runes as well, so I can't out while I'm doing this. I'm an idiot, but I can at least put them on. Uh, right. You can milk one of them. I'm sure I saw it. Milk. Boom. Look how slow it is just for one. I don't know why. I don't understand why they made it so slow. All right, I've got a full inventory of butter now. I just got some potatoes, so we'll make up some potato and butters now. Um, and then the tuna and sweet corn. So, yeah, to be fair, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's probably going to take another, like, four or five minutes from now to get everything together. But to have a full inventory of 22 heels, we'll take it. We will take it all day long. All right, this is taking way longer than I thought it was going to. Like, genuinely ridiculous. But we're getting there. 
We are now putting this on and then we just put this on the potatoes and we're done. This may be the first time I've ever made tuna potatoes. I can't think of another time I've done it because sweet corn is like impossible to get unless you grow it. Especially in PvP challenges where we can't use the GE and stuff. So, boom. I will make all of these up and then I've got an hour to work out what I want to do. Alright guys, that's food sorted. I am now going to go ahead. I'm going to buy just a full set of armor. I should have bought the bloody armor up here. Ah! I don't want to do barbarian training. I'll buy the armor up here. Yeah, I'm just going to buy the full set. Uh, just so I have actual weapons and armor for the fight. And then I'm going to spend the last hour trying to upgrade that. Let me fix the clock here. Uh, boom, there we go. Uh, yeah, just going to try and then upgrade it with whatever I can. Maybe kill some monsters, just see what's going on. Um, but I've spent most of my time doing some thieving, cooking, and a bit of that demi-boss. So, we'll see. Addy plate body, addy plate legs. Boom, still got 23k left over. Very nice. Some people might be like, oh, it's a bit weird that you guys are like able to use a lot of your bank and like runes and stuff this time. To be honest, we just thought it was such a big continent um that we did want to cut some corners where we could so we'd be able to get as much done as possible so we could show off as much as possible obviously this is day of release we don't know much about Valamore. like there are things that you know like the coliseum i haven't even touched i've heard people are really struggling with that uh so there's things that obviously we're not able to touch yet and there's also going to be Valamore 2.0 when they release all this bit as well and up here um so hopefully we'll do like a, a second video at some point, maybe when the second part of Valamore comes out um, and it'll be a lot more comprehensive with us doing like, you know, things that are a lot more um, crazy and maybe we'd know how to get better stuff and stuff. But this is more of an old fashioned, I'm buying this rune, boom, nice. This is more of an old fashioned, you know, PVP challenge where we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's happening. I didn't take any stamina's out. So, you know, classic PvP challenge, messing stuff up. Um, I did have a look while I was cooking. Down here, there's a helmet shop. So I'm going to go see what's going on with that. We get out of full helm. Go on, man. Okay. I, th I was hoping it'd be rune. I really was hoping it'd be rune. All right. And then I'm going to hit the transportation here. And we're going to go to the dwarf bit. Thing again so that we can buy the Addy SQ. All right, and the Addy SQ. All right, we have a setup now. We've got a full inventory of food. Happy days. That's 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 all that matters. Now I can go a little bit wild. I am going to have a quick look around just see if there's anything else that maybe we could like buy. Uh, there's a herbalist. Ooh, because I got some irits earlier from the boss trade. <gasps> Bloody super attack. Oh, that's lovely. I will um, make another one. We got like 29 irits, so I will make another one so I've got a four dose for the fight. Um, is there anything else? No. Hmm, that's a bit annoying. If we could have seen some limp worts. Please, Jagex, make limp worts easier to get. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm buzzing that we've got a super attack. Super attack. We've got a full inventory of food. Happy days. All right, let's come in here. I might have to settle for myth and myth guys because we want to save 14k so we can get a rune mace there's a rune mace salesman when i was doing the quest i took a peek and he sells rune maces i forget how much i, I should probably check that real quick all right let's trade spike it's a pretty cool name it's a pretty cool name how much wow that just fucking cleaned me man what are we looking like right now shit Oh my god, this is this is this is disgusting. Alright, does this guy sell food? Not that we could really afford it anyways. Um yes, okay. We can also cook it right in there. We need food. Oh, this is bad. We need a helmet and a shield still. I could probably get a full inventory and then make enough money for like a myth helm and a myth square shield, I think they sell back in that undercity by where I was catching the salamanders before. Hmm. All right, as long as we don't burn two of them, we will have 28 sharks in this fight. And it looks like we're good. Perfect. All right, I just spoke with Link. We're allowed to enchant stuff, like take runes out of her bank. So we're going to make that into a defense ammy, which means because we only have nine minutes left, we are going to trade this guy, buy the best helmet we can with 1k, 
Is it really just going to be a steel helm? That kind of sucks. Uh, we're going to take the bird over to this area. Rallo's Rise. Sell the emerald necklace and the gold necklace. And then buy the best shield we can buy. And I don't think we can actually travel straight there, which is annoying. But uh, I guess we can. Not straight there, but close enough. It's this guy or the guy next to him? Okay, sell. Sell. Then we make our way northeast to this shop right here. Trade. It's actually pretty crazy. They sell myth square shields there. And I could buy a myth square. Uh, Addy, that's used in like clue scrolls and stuff. So that's quite useful for Iron Man. Oh, I fucking hate this setup. I hate this. Let's enchant this real quick. And then just see if we can catch a few more Sally's. With the time it takes to hop, probably not, but we gotta try. We literally found an empty world, and we have less than four minutes to strike gold. Please. Please. All right, guys, that is the time up. This trap's already up, though. Let's see if I would have gotten something. I mean, I would literally just, like, quit the game if I got it right there. Uh, there's, there's also this one here. Yeah. Okay, I mean, does it matter anyway? Uh, let's, let's see what we got. Oh, man, I don't like this setup one bit. I don't like this setup one bit. It, it hurts knowing that I could have just thieved the entire episode, got full Addy and a rune mace, and it would have been better. But that would have been boring. We saw some new content. We were going for gold. It just didn't pay off. We, we got a lot of those salamanders as well. So I, you know, it happens. Let's hope Link got just as unlucky, and I'll see you guys in the fight. All right, for the last 50 minutes, I think I'm going to go back to doing this demi-boss thing. I don't I don't even know what it's called. You know, the Blood Moon, Eclipse, whatever. Yeah, I'm just going to do these. All right. I don't know what chest this is going to be. Maybe eight, seven or eight, something like that. Open, and we get nothing. Number nine. Oof, okay. Chest number 10 coming in. Let's see if we can get an item this time. No. Chest number 11. And hopefully some sort of loot, please. Man. Chest number 12, I believe. Let's have a look. Nope, still nothing. All right, another chest, and again, nothing. I think I'll get one more chest. I don't think I'll get two. All right, this will definitely be the last one. I'm not going to be able to do one in uh, just under six minutes. Not possible. Um, so we've got to get lucky here, and then I might just kill a few things in this dungeon or something. Come on. <sighs> 14 KC. Unfortunately, guys, it looks like that is going to be the end. i got 40 seconds left. There's nothing really to do. Uh, there is the Colosseum, and I am going to be doing some of that with Rog live over on our Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash thenwefight. I'll leave a link in the description uh, if you want to drop a follow and watch us do this live and uh, yeah, see see how we fare in the Colosseum. So there's a little shout out for that. But yeah, I think that's going to be it, guys, unfortunately. Um, 10 seconds left. I will show you my setup and we'll hopefully going to take the dub here. Okay, so if he goes magic, I'm absolutely screwed. Minus 11 magic defense. I guess I could take the armor off. Um, but, you know, he's probably going to be barraging if he goes magic. So I'm fully expected to lose that. But if he goes range or melee, pretty decent. You know, I don't think he could have done much better than this without getting a drop from the bosses. Um, or maybe I've missed something. There's a very good chance that he's worked something out that I've missed. Very possible. But... I'm feeling pretty confident with the tuna potatoes. I'm not going to lie. I feel like that was, it was just a split second. I saw the sweet corn and I was like, oh, I've always wanted to do that. It's something that I've just had in my, in my mind forever and always been annoyed that sweet corn was so hard to get hold of. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe he'll do it as well. Maybe he thinks the same because, you know, we do do the same PVP challenges. We've got a super attack, which I think is pretty, pretty big. Again, will he think of that? Will he find the herbalist? I don't know. Um, so yeah. I'm feeling feeling pretty, pretty confident here. We will see what happens. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Get a house. 
Yo. It actually feels <laughs> yo, weird yo. to be stood in the normal game now after that. We should have been in Varlamore. Yeah, we probably we should have. have. We, we should have. Yeah. It's, there's a lot going on. It's a bit busy, isn't it? Like, there's just so many things, like, close together when you go into those town bits. Yeah. And it's you nuts. get curious on everything you see. Yeah. And then you try to look it up. You try to do that, the wiki click from the game. Yeah. And then you just find out either the page doesn't exist yet. Or it's just a picture it's of whatever legit. it is you look at. It's a picture, at. and then it's, nothing. it says, like, no info is known on this item right now. It's, like, brilliant. Dude, like, so some helpful. fucker, for those, uh, the, uh, wormling, some fucker just had, I'd like to stick that up my butt on the wiki. <laughs> and I was like, you fucking dickhead. And they dropped nothing, by the way, I checked. Wow, really? Okay. Yeah, uh, but, uh... Yeah, so that was what we were dealing with. Well, it, I mean, this is a complete blind, like, we don't know anything. Nobody does at the time of filming right now. So uh, let's uh, go for a little reveal, mate. Where do you want to go Ugh. first? Where do you want to go first? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. Boots. <laughs> I don't have any boots. I think he's got fucking boots. Oh, oh, there is a shot. There is a shot. Oh, great. Actually, I knew that. I went past one at one point. It's like it's like the Silla's store, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think it's literally Fuck, identical. I forgot about that. Oh, I should have gone back. Oh, well. All right, let's go shield. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh he's going to have full Addy. He's oh. going to have full Addy. <laughs> gloves, gloves, gloves. Yeah, gloves. gloves. That sucks, dude. <laughs> this fucking guy, <laughs> fuck's sake. All right. Uh, let's get legs. Oh! Yeah. Ah! What happened? What do you mean what happened? My plan wasn't to <laughs> fucking do this, bro. Obviously. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, all right. Cape. <laughs> I don't have a cape. Fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm slowly creaking cre yeah. cre cre up here. <laughs> you're, you're making slowly. up the armor difference for sure. Let's go. Helm. Helm. Help me out, boy. I really oh hate this. Oh my god, kids. Uh, Poor uh, guy really was not thinking about this plan at all. No, we're, what were you fucking thieving all episode? Uh, dude, I stumbled across the house keys. Did you get any house keys? Yeah, that's what I was doing to get the shit I have on now. Right. I think it's worse, by the way, than just fucking pickpocketing. Well, I made 25k from it. Um, And then I realized, you know the arrow dart things you get from the chest? Uh, the what? The 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 effective, you know, like a Carol's crossbow, the the ammo that comes with that from Barrows, the version yeah. of that in this thing. You yeah. Get the, like dart, dude. They out for three hundred each. Are you serious? I had like four hundred k worth of fucking. I those... just had in my head that they, dude, they were selling for one GP. <laughs> I know. On that's why GE. I was like, these are worthless. Like what? And so I examined them, and it was like, yeah, four hundred k out value. No. So it's like. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know why they're selling for one GP. It's mental. Well, it's a very shitty weapon that nobody wants. Well, I mean, I, mean I got those yesterday after we uh, started film, after we ended filming, and it was bad. It was bad, bad. Right. I mean, but I just mean for out potential. They shouldn't be selling for one GP. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very, yeah. very weird. All right. All right. Uh, necklace. Uh, I do actually have a necklace. One sec, I forgot to bring it. You're so notorious for that. Well, it's when they don't have stats. I'm, I'm not so... gonna lie, it doesn't have any stats. <laughs> oh, okay. it, 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 it's statless. Here we go. You're still Here notorious for it, though. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Defense. Where'd you get it from? Defense. The ha house keys. You get oh. like a necklace every now and then. I only got useless necklaces, so I didn't know if they saw if it gave amulets. I only got the this and the emerald version of this. I got the emerald version of that right. and a gold version of that. Maybe it is like the ham chest. I was sort of like, maybe these are like ham chests. So mm. maybe you can get everything from it. Body. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. <laughs> oh okay, man. Okay. Right. You want to know what hurts, dude? I like, also made around 25-ish K. Really? But I didn't know about the alking thing, the, the fucking yeah. bolts. The vaults were OP, Darks. dude. They were so broken. 300 each, and I had like, dude, I had literally over a thousand of them. Absolutely. Yeah, I had a lot too. I didn't, I didn't even like think to fucking mad. So, uh, <sighs> mm. I've just got a weapon, dude. Same. All right, three, two, one, go. 
Oh, yeah. he does have the room mace yeah. that he does I have. mean, dude, I made enough for full Addy with a myth body, and then I was like, oh, there's a fucking mace store, and yeah. it's like 19k. So then, dude, I have like no time left. Such a weird place as well. Food. Like, it's out by the sea, like, just sat there. Yeah. It's like, what was that? So there was no base food given. So you did have to sort no. out food here. And we both have no yep. inventory slots. Uh, I... Yeah, I I have all of one thing. So if I, I can't I can't leak anything just yet. I have a super attack. Fuck. I got irates in the chest, and there was a herbologist or whatever the fuck, herbalist, in the, like, little dwarven uh, city. And he sold everything he needed to finish off the old super attack. I mean, as you know, I got that as well, the <laughs> iris. <laughs> oh. And then I've just got one food. Which I don't think I've... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Did you not have sharks? I don't have sharks. Oh. I mean, I spent like 20 fucking five minutes fishing them. So. Wow. All the way down south, there was a shark's... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> There's, there's finally, there's finally sweet corn that grows on the ground so you can make fucking tuna potatoes for the first time ever, kid. Oh my god. I, <laughs> so dude, I spent I was... just as long churning butter and shit, don't you worry. Okay, two second warning now. Oh, what no, I, at least like... Oh, wait, we're <laughs> okay. winning. We're winning. You want to take that back? You're about to complain. Didn't have <laughs> yeah, time. I was, it was. This is going to be a nice quick fight, isn't it? <laughs> Remember sake. the... Uh... What is... Oh, shit. What? Remember the desert treasure fight where it was, like, dead certain I was going to win, but just, like, my magic could not hit for whatever yeah, reason? Yeah, you just got mad unlucky. That's what you need right now. I mean, that can still happen with melee, I guess, can't it? It's just... Oh, my... God. Oh. How I am I think Owen needs to go on a on a like a very odd train of like four twenties in a row. I mean, you've already had to happen, two and then even then, I need to happen later in the fight as well. We'll see. We'll see. I I I, I actually think your biggest upgrade is probably that fucking super attack. Yeah, it's huge. Fuck! I could have made one. That's the crazy. That's the thing about wikiing guys while you're trying to run around. You, I th I think I was too focused on trying to look up shit than just having like a simple plan. Yeah, I I, I think I sort of very quickly realized the wiki was so bare bones. I sort of just gave up on it. I was just like, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna like manually run around and just come up with things that I see and just do it. Because yeah. it, it was so, it was it was such a waste of time going like, uh, okay, I need to think of like, where can I get a body from? I'll try and wiki it or I'll try and work that out. It's just like, fuck it. There's literally no point. I'm just going to look at the map and see what's going on, you know? Yeah, like even the house keys, dude. Everyone was talking about keys, keys, keys. And I'm like, how the fuck do you get the keys? How the yeah, fuck? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't know how to like wiki it <laughs> without having the key to like wiki click it yeah so yeah, i was like yeah. oh, i'll just pickpocket the wealthy citizens and i'm like oh that's how you get the keys okay sure I, let's try that now the first time i got one i got caught because i didn't know how what the fuck was going on i like thought i had to leave out the door i came and the bloke caught me and took all my family yeah, pulls off me and everything oh really yeah. takes everything he t i think i had like maybe 20 valuables on me and i think he left me with like one or two so oh, like, what I a just, dickhead bro like, he, what a <laughs> uh, to be fair he was like you're stealing from me but you can still keep a little bit like fair <laughs> enough <you know? laughs> uh but it's really when you hit those like valuable chests that's where it all comes from in it like that's the, that's the yeah big one. That's that big boy you know what? We're gonna repot. We're gonna repot. I tested it, guys. For all who's curious, that method is about like a, like 115k XP an hour. So if you're high right. thieving, it's kind of shit. Not gonna lie. Those uh, wealthy citizens are pretty good. When like the street urchins uh, distract them, it auto pickpockets for like half a minute. Yeah, but it's then they don't for like a minute. So yeah. I wasn't too crazy on it. But... I don't know. It felt pretty good, though. I was baffled by it first time it happened. Oh, hello. This hello. is coming from the man who didn't pick Trickster, by the way, in League. That's so why I, I was loving it. Shit. That's why I was loving it. I mentioned Trickster. I, could, I didn't remember the name because I didn't take it, but I was trying to mention it. I was like, guys, in the leagues, that thing, you know, that was really that good. That thing, that <laughs> thing. Oh, get, don't out me, bro. <laughs> don't out oh, me. I've got Entity Hydra on. I couldn't see it. What was it? Oh, it's Count and Check. Uh. <laughs> See, you just just play it cool. No one, known, myself now. no one would have known. Yeah, I should have screamed, "Drunken dwarf, drunken dwarf!" <laughs> Come on! 
He's gotta be like, he's gotta be past half food, surely. Come on. See, I don't like this, cause like, I have eaten a decent amount here, and he still feels like he's semi in it. And he'll probably bat like an 18 in a minute. 14. Okay, that's a bit better. And another one. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, that's lovely. Oh. I yeah, I didn't I didn't know till last minute that I was switching my plan from Addy Sim to Rune Mace, and I was like, I need the better weapon, the worse armor. Yeah, fair. That makes sense. That makes sense. I did see that as well, the Addy Sim. Pretty crazy though, you can just go and buy an Addy Sim now. And it's not like Valamore has high like requirements to go to or anything, you know. I think it's just that like children of the sun quest yeah. which let's be honest it just, like isn't even really a quest no. <laughs> you just like talk to three people and then i mean it almost feels like valamore is like more of like a hub for mid level players now yeah like, the shield you have on do you know how annoying that is to get legit. on a low level iron man for a clue scroll legit it's like one in a hundred from like the trolls and shit yeah 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 Although they'll never understand the rush of getting a fucking granite shield before <laughs> getting an Addy Square. So you know what, Jagex, you're stealing memories from people, okay? <laughs> He's got stealing Dude, memories. Stop! Oh my god, is he in like? Fucking... Oh, is he actually getting nervous? Oh my god! I'm, I will not have this on my watch if you win this. I'm sick of you winning things you shouldn't. Come on. <laughs> well, 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 you should word like that. S no, I'm wording it. I'm, it I'm not taking uh, it back. See, that's propaganda. When it's tied at the end and I just take I'm it. I'm glad you broke your elbow, bro. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, uh, where's... Dude, I had a name for my salamander when I was going to get him. His name would have been Sunny. Dude, you like, got Sunny way go. into this salamander shit. Like, you, you fell in love, you know? There's a well, saying. I heard one in 500, and I was like, I, I can do 500. There's a saying <laughs> I can in, in English football, mate. Don't fall in love with a lone player. And I think you, you fell in love with a lone player there. Oof, come on. With come a lone on. player? Yeah, so like when a club sends a player to another club to get experience because they're not quite good enough for their club, they go to like a lesser club, and then the fans fall in love with that lone player. You don't do that. Oh, that, I will. That fall player in is love. always going to go. I, I love He's, hard, Link. Yeah, I love hard. I know you do. <laughs> it's, it's I love not, hard. How's that working out for you right now, G? How's, how's I will. Working? Well, <laughs> what was his name? I still believe. S sunny. Sunny. <laughs> sunny. <laughs> you would have been sunny with a chance, bro. <laughs> Dude, I made the same exact joke. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I, did, I actually didn't like that show growing up. I'm going to say it. I'm gonna I, fucking I don't say remember it. what the show was about, to be honest. Can't... Demi Lovato? Uh, no. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I sort of remember. Come on. He's got to be out. Is that it? Is that him done? I think he's done. Sonny, remember he's me. He's done. Remember me, Sonny. So, Sonny doesn't even remember know me. you. He doesn't exist. You never got it. Remember me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bs and Gs, don't forget we're uh, we're live on Twitch, so click that link uh, that I've got in the description. You can come watch me and Kins. We're going to be doing some Valamore activities. We're, we're going to see if he can get Sunny. Fucking Sunny, bro. <laughs> Doesn't exist, he says. That just pissed me off. Uh, we will uh, see you all over there, guys. Look forward to it, and we will catch you later. Bye.